Hey, this is Jim with Power Equipment Direct, your product expert for pressure washers. Today we're going to go over all the things you need to know about pressure washers, how to start them, how to run them, how to maintain them. Well, let's get the show on the road. Before you even begin using a pressure washer, there are some important safety features you have to keep in mind. First of all, read the manual. All pressure washers come with a manual. It may include a manual for the engine as well as the pressure washer itself. Read both of them. Whether you've owned the one before or not, there may be something different about this one than you had in the past. It's different in setting up or starting or stopping. Different safety aspects you have to be aware of. Read the manual, it's in your best interest. If you don't have a manual, you can always go to our website, go to pressurewashersdirect.com slash manuals. You can find your manual there and read up on it so you know what you're dealing with. Second thing you wanna do is make sure you have protective equipment. You should be wearing gloves and protective glasses at the very least. And for God's sake, don't go out there wearing uh, sandals when you're pressure washing. Wear close-toed shoes. These are not toys that can do serious damage. Even a pair of gym shoes is not great. You should be using really steel toe shoes for maximum safety. Don't be going out there with sandals and working with these because again, it can be very dangerous. All right, so I'm gonna go over what you need to do to start the engine and start the pressure washer and get the ball rolling here. Again, read the manual. Uh, if you don't have it, you can always look at our website at pressurewashersdirect.com slash manuals. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is check the oil level on the dipstick. Dipstick down over here and then screw it down here. Uh, you wanna wipe it down, give it a good wipe down. Uh, give it nice and clean. Uh, from my older days, I like to reinsert it once you clean it and then double check it one more time Make sure that oil level is nice and full And yeah, we're pretty full on that thing. So we're good with the oil level. It's good. All right So now we're gonna check the gas level make sure we're good on gas We've already used this machine once already today. So we're just gonna double check the gas tank Make sure you're using fresh gas you want to use unleaded gas 87 octane minimum uh, You can always go with 89. It's not gonna hurt the engine all right, so now we're gonna connect the high pressure hose to the machine. Two inputs, or an input and an output, is gonna be for your garden hose. This will be for your high pressure hose coming into here. So again, that's an M22 fitting. That screws into there pretty easily. And uh, you just tighten that in until it's nice and tight. Good to go with that. All right, next step is connecting your garden hose. Now, one thing to pay attention to is a lot of these have a filter on the inlet coming into these pumps. It's gonna filter any kind of debris from the water. That's what came out of that filter. So there's quite a bit of gunk and minerals and stuff in there. That'll restrict your water flow. That's not a good thing. So good idea to check that filter, make sure it's nice and clean. And insert that back in and connect the garden hose. And I think we're good. Connect the other end to your gun. All right, so another thing to keep in mind is when you're making all these connections, you want to make sure that there's no kinks in the lines. You want to make sure there's no air in your water hose coming from your spigot. If you have a filter in, in the water line, either here at the pump or at the water spigot, make sure that filter's clean. I mean, that, that is there for a reason to uh, keep out sediment and debris getting into the pump. That's going to start collecting after a while. That'll start restricting the flow coming to the pressure washer pump. It's going to cause the pump to run erratically and make some noise. So. Uh, if you hear something like that, it's going to mean that either you're not getting enough water to the pump, you've got some air, air in the water. Uh, it's not a fault of the pressure washer at all, it's just because there's some kind of restriction in the hose. So be aware of that as well. Alright, so we got everything hooked up, we're going to start the uh, water flow. You want to crank that silcock all the way open. Make sure you're getting maximum flow from your water spigot to your pump. Once we have that, release any pressure that may be building up in here. Turn your uh, engine on. Start the engine. As you can see, it's pretty effective in doing the job. Uh, using a wand like this and a uh, nozzle like this, you're gonna get a fair amount of coverage, but you can do much better than that with a water broom or a surface cleaner. So another important thing you wanna be aware of is uh, when you're done using your pressure washer, pull that trigger, release all the pressure that's built up in that hose. Um, two things that allow you to change the hoses really quickly. It'll allow you to pull the recoil again on your next startup if you're just taking a little bit of a break. Uh, you get a lot of pressure built up between the pressure washer pump and this, this uh, spray gun. We get a lot of calls regarding that, that people can't start their pressure washer after, they, after they've run it once or twice for the first time. Uh, that's the reason. Release the pressure, pull on this. As long as, as long as there's pressure coming out of here, hold on to that gun. It may take a little while, you never know. But uh, you'll know once the water stops streaming out at the end of the tip, you're generally good to go, whether it's disconnecting your hose or restarting your pressure washer. 